because it is, and maybe we'll talk maybe a little bit about this with Digby. The, the Trump uh, campaign has uh, suspended its ad buys and um, they are supposedly going to be retooling things. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see which direction that heads into. I, I don't know that there's, there's much to be salvaged at this point for the Trump uh, campaign. I think they are instead going to reorient themselves, it would appear, to um, really fundamentally attacking the legitimacy of the election in some fashion. Now, the other thing that is sort of interesting um, is that there's apparently like $170 million that is sort of unaccounted for in their campaign. There are charges, uh, or I should say, um, violations being filed with the FEC. But you'll recall, I think it was about a month ago, one of the Republican commissioners resigned. And when she did, she, uh, this is the Federal Elections Commission, when she did, she basically rendered the commission inoperable because you need at least four commissioners on there or five. And I think there's only four now. I'll double check that. But, but it is inoperative. Let's put it that way. And um, so, the, you know, there's, there's a quality of like rev up the getaway car, <laughs> but who knows? Um, the only reason why also I think there's is seen going to be the concerted push is that, you know, the, uh, is because that's what Fra Fox and friends is talking about. Here's Brian Kilmeade who is on Fox news on Fox and friends arguing that, um, of course he's parroting what Bill Barr said this week which was, it's only common sense that will tell you that foreign adversaries could use mail-in ballots as a way of throwing the election. Just use logic. Don't wait for CBS to do a report which ended up proving that Trump was right. Just use logic. You sit in your house, there's five ballots on your, uh, for your family, three of your kids, 18 to 21, I'm not going to vote. You could vote for me. You could send it in. When I get around to doing it, you click the box. A domineering parent tells the kids how they're going to vote, or some kids will grab their parents' ballot and send it. Can't we just have this one moment to vote for one candidate every four years and show up and put a ballot in without licking an envelope or pressing on a stamp? If you can shop for food, if you can buy liquor, you can vote once, a, once every four years. It's so true. How many shared civic moments do we have in this country None. right now? Where oh, we, every God. four years. Every four years, oh, one time. Oh That's my all. God. Just one thing can oh we my come God. together. Oh, pause do it. it. Wait, wait, wait. I, I need you need to, to... We need to deal with the first part before we get on to their lamentation <laughs> that there are no shared civic moments in this country like standing in line uh, for multiple hours because uh, the Republican Secretary of State has closed 90% of the polling places. That's what they're talking about, of course. But contemplate what, what Kilmeade is saying here. Use logic. If you vote there, you're going to have God knows how many households with multiple children over the age of 18, right? They're with their parents, multiple children over the age of 18 who are at home getting their ballots, who don't care about voting. They registered. They don't care about voting. Parents who are so gung-ho to vote are going to actually write in their ballots, going to sign their ballots, or maybe the kids will come and sign it because they don't care. Do we really think this is a major problem in this country? I was going to say one of those examples where it's just like your friend turns your ballot in for you. Like, okay, sure. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, or what, like these kids. So what's the idea that we just don't, these kids wouldn't vote in, in his, in Kilmeade's mind. These, these kids who live at home, they're over 18. They're not yeah, kids. over 18. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there's multiple kids living in the home. <laughs> Multiple adults living in the home who are children of the parents 
<laughs> they're over the age of 18 now, right? So in presuming that, you know, unless they're twins, one could be like 18 in a week. Oh man. This makes and me want to watch Step Brothers. The other <laughs> exactly. Well, that's the thing you have to really worry about is families where you have like a Brady Bunch situation. Because <laughs> yeah. then you could have like like you could have in you know two 18 year olds, two 19 year olds, two 20 year olds. Oof. And you could have like if you think about the voter fraud kids, <laughs> and then you know the the Brady parents would force their kids and or fill out their ballots, then you'd have two people with access to six ballots. And Damn. That is, we got to watch out for that. But wait a second, let's get back to the other part where these guys who would never, ever, ever in a million years call for voting uh, election day to be a national holiday are still going to lament the fact that we don't have a shared civic day together. years it's so true how many shared civic moments do we have in this country None. right now where we every four None. years <laughs> every four years one time that's all just one thing can we come together do it responsibly if you need to request an absentee ballot as the president made very clear that's what he's talking about i i messed up my ballot in the new jersey primary this year i lost the secure envelope inside it so i had to go in and vote provisionally which means my vote didn't even count unless they needed unless they need it yeah. what a mess if that's nationwide as they push back ballots out to these voter Personal rolls, many of which are outdated anyway. Well, uh, incidentally, that guy doesn't believe in washing hands. I don't know if people remember that, but he doesn't, <laughs> he literally does not believe in washing hands. He doesn't believe that germs exist because he can't see them or something. Um, I'm not making that up. That was something he very proudly was talking about uh, a year ago. So, so because he's irresponsible with his ballot, he thinks everyone will be. I really love the fact that they're now lamenting a, uh, a shared civic moment. Uh, How about we a make holiday. a day? Yeah, exactly. Holiday for elections. For civic moments. Yes. Let's make more holidays for civic moments. I was going to say, maybe, maybe we should make the work day just like six and a half hours. So we each get like an hour, hour and a half long civic moment. Yeah. Or like even like a four day work where we can have a civic Friday. Civic Fridays. <laughs> T-G-I-C-F oh, Alright, it's not going to catch on uh, <laughs> Folks New oh, merch. 